Welcome back to the Maths Guide. Today we're looking at one-step equations that involve negative numbers and subtraction. Let's go. Okay, so we can see that we have two examples here that we're going to look at today. And we can see that both of them involve variables, as in an unknown value, and negative numbers, as well as subtraction. So what are we trying to do when we're trying to solve a one-step equation? Well, we want to get this variable on its own to understand the value of it. At the moment, this variable is connected to this subtract 13, so we need to find a way to get it on its own. Well, what we're going to remember today is that we need to isolate the variable by using the inverse. So at the moment, we have a negative 13 or a subtract 13. So what's the opposite of subtraction? Addition. So if we want to get rid of this negative 13 or subtract 13, we need to put on this side a plus 13. But now what we've done is we've made our equation unbalanced because we've just added a plus 13 to the left hand side and left the right hand side as it is. So to make it balanced again, we have to put a plus 13 on this side too. Okay, and now I can begin to solve my equation. So looking at this first left hand side, my negative 13 plus my positive 13 cancel themselves out and equal zero. So I'm left with just t on its own. So therefore t equals negative 17 plus 13. Now this might be a little bit hard to get your head around. And if you're not too confident with negative numbers, I'm gonna link a video that specifically goes through negative numbers in the description. So check that out if you need some help with it. But really what we need to think about is we're on negative 17 and we are adding a positive 13. So we're going to be coming back up the number line in a positive way and we will end up at negative 4. So therefore t equals negative 4. What we can do just to double check our work is we can look back at our question and we can put negative 4 in the place of t. So let's rewrite it over here and I'd have negative 4 subtract 13 equals negative 17. And one way to help us is by drawing a number line, so I'm gonna do that now. There we go. So we start with negative four, and we're coming 13 places down the number line. So here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, landing me on negative 17. So we know we're right. Okay, let's look at this second question then. This time I have 15 equals b subtract negative 4. So this time my b, my variable, is connected to a subtract negative 4. So here's our subtraction. How do I get rid of the subtraction? That's right, I'll use my inverse. So on this side I must input a plus negative 4. But remember if I put that on one side, I need to put it on the other side too. So now I can look back at this right hand side and I can see that my subtract negative 4 and my plus negative 4, they're going to cancel each other out and I'm just going to be left with b on its own. So therefore b equals 15 plus negative 4. Again, if we're not too sure about how to use negative numbers, please make sure you look back at that negative number video so that you get a really good understanding as we're going to go through this quite quickly. But essentially, if we were looking back on our number line, we're on 15 at the moment, and I'm adding a negative 4, so I'm going to come down the number line, and I'll end up with 11. So 11 equals B, or B equals 11. And there you go. Let's just think about what to remember. First, we're going to isolate the variable by cancelling out the number it's connected to by using the inverse operation. And when subtracting a negative to a negative, we're going to end up coming back up the number line which can be a little bit hard to understand. If you need help, draw that number line. That'll help your mind understand exactly what you're doing. And there we go. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you. In our next video, we're going to be looking at how to solve one-step equations involving negative multiples. So if you're not a subscriber already, be sure to subscribe and share this video with somebody that you think might need this little bit of help as well. But for now, peace out.